Solus Isle. Um, it's spelled like S-O-L-U-S. -S. It's named after Solus Prime from Transformers, so I, I've been writing a story with a friend of mine, or doing an RP with a friend of mine, that she has a pretty major part in, and the flag is the emblem of Solus Prime, so it's kind of an obscure Transformers reference, but I enjoy it. Isabelle's living her best life. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to boot up the game at least once and show you guys my island, even if I'm not planning on streaming this game regularly, as it's sort of my anti-anxiety game for myself. I kept telling myself I wasn't going to show off my island until it was perfect and all my little projects had been done, but, you know, I gotta embrace the mess a little bit instead of trying so hard to make everything perfect for everyone. I'm particularly proud of this. The screen is made to look like Discord. I actually made this myself. The Rossetti Bros, the best characters in the game, fight me on this. Got... TV and everything over here, and... Oh. Yeah, the completely normal art. Pay, pay no attention to that. <laughs> I could write a whole essay on my thoughts on the comedian. But yeah, let's get changed into something that isn't extremely dated. The cape is kind of great. I love this thing. I'll do that. Um, uh, cape doesn't really work with a skirt. This outfit is already cursed. <laughs> Why do I own so many camo pants? I'm just gonna be childish today. I'm just gonna put on the unicorn pants and the cape. <laughs> Why is it I get on a stream and all of my fashion sense goes out the window and I just turn into the most immature person alive? <laughs> this is so dumb. We're going with this. Just let anybody who comes into the stream see this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my bathroom. There's the golden dung beetle because we honor our poop in here. I've got a big stack of manga. I never promised anybody maturity on this channel. Oh yeah, I forgot about the stack of dishes over there because that's just how I live my life. I want to make, like, a movie theater in here. My initial plan was going to be to line up tiles on the wall as, like, a big screen, but unfortunately there's a space between all of them, so it doesn't really have the look that I wanted it to have. So I figure I'm just gonna get the biggest TV I possibly can and put that up there, although I am a little bummed that I can't fake a whole projection. This was my kitchen. Um, books. I always, that's the other thing, I'll just litter around if I have any extra space. I'll litter around books and, um, I definitely need more counters in here. There's something particularly funny about, like, this fancy $2,000 espresso machine sitting on a cardboard box. I'm a little bummed that, like, the appliances on this don't work. Got a soup pot. Closest thing I found to a slow cooker. Slow cookers, let me tell you, those are lifesavers. I don't have it downstairs yet, but up here is also kind of a work in progress. Um, it's sort of my bedroom, although I kind of just been using it as an experimenting room that is vaguely blue. I love this floor. It's so impractical, but I just love that it actually, like acts like an ocean, and then you've got the Aurora Borealis actually glows. Ooh, that's really pretty with the blue light. I do not think there is such thing as too many flowers. Frankly, I wouldn't even really be picking up the weeds if they didn't have a negative impact on more flowers growing, because they're actually really pretty, but I just let my town get overrun with flowers. But, um, yeah, also, before I go out there, I guess this is my little beachfront property. In real life, a beach house would be extremely impractical, but that's kind of why I like it in the game. I don't have to worry about the foundation giving out because it's on sand or wind erosion or any of that stuff I'd have to worry about if I actually got beachfront property. It's It can just exist like this. I really like the beach. I think it's neat. This is my pet turtle. He's doing good. Never mind that it's winter and he's cold-blooded. He's fine. I promise. That's the magic of Animal Crossing. His name's Chompy. It's a reference to, um, the 2012 series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's my Lilies of the Valley collection. So far, I'm kind of working on spreading it out into a nice line all the way along here, which is the only reason I'm bothering with picking up the weeds, because sadly, 
the who, people who rate my island, I guess, don't appreciate how pretty the weeds are the way that I do. I did a whole video ranting about how I didn't want to pick them up because they're so nice. This way is my little museum area. Got this lovely fountain, more flowers, little displays of everything. Most importantly, the great dinosaur dung. Man, sometimes, like, fossils are so easy to find that... I wish the game would let you donate them a second time and let Blathers build his little collection, because I'm almost done. It'd be really fun to sort of have that as, like, a bonus challenge when you've completed it. Hey, buddy! Hey, this is Biff. Um, He's one of the jocks that I've really decked out the front of his house. Guess he's exercising. Long time no see. 7,000 push-ups a day. Bet you can't beat that. I, I, I would lose that bet. I can't do one. I probably could work on picking up this kettlebell more often. I guess I could try putting on something a little more classy. Oh, it has a little plush mu- That's precious! Um, we got these Believe Next Love. These are like the most Hallmark card shirts. Um, there's some really cute stuff in here today. This game has my hat, but it doesn't have my hat in my color, and that drives me crazy. You also notice these little free libraries scattered pretty much everywhere I could possibly find a spot for them. I I adore little free libraries with all my heart and soul. They're one of my favorite things. So you'll see those in basically every nook and cranny where I thought they could fit. I forget the name of the person who lives here now. This used to belong to someone different, and now the house doesn't really match them. Yeah, this guy. Oh my gosh, I haven't actually been in his house before. This place is nice! Rodney, yes, he just moved here. See some of different, new different, new hairstyle, spill the deets. How you doing, buddy? Good for a rap session with old Rodney. What's up? Yo, am I right or am I right? I'm right. Let's see, Kelly. Where should we begin? I've got it. What's your favorite kind of music? <laughs> I'm getting called out! <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked you, Rodney. Thank you! Yeah, see, he- yeah, he gets it. Although it's not really nostalgia because I'm still watching them. Yes, that is a thing. Rodney. Rodney. My buddy, my pal. Let me tell you about anime conventions. You're barefoot in the snow. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing about the magic of Animal Crossing. Frostbite doesn't exist here. Nothing bad ever happens. Right, there's new- oh, perfect, there's new, um, eye colors and stuff. I'll, I'll pick up these. This is- I have not been playing this game very much. This just goes to show how many things I still haven't done. Now a lot of them are, um, like, adding more black hairstyles to the game, which is really cool, but I think there's a few others, too. I'm still bummed, though, that, like, they don't have my side shave or any sort of partial shave. The closest I could find is, like, this asymmetrical bob, but it, it looks more like a Karen bob to me than my hair, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Apologies to anybody with this hair who isn't a Karen, or is a nice Karen. I love this wetsuit! Oh my goodness! Um, okay. There, there's no seasonal stuff right now. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna... I think I've got enough time. I've got about a half hour before the shops close. I am going to get out my shovel and I'm going to try and dig up some fossils and I'm going to try and buy that wetsuit because that one is pretty with the watercolor leaves and everything. I need that. Look at how hard he's working. We could all be inspired by that. I picked up a kettlebell a few days ago. I'm going to try and lift it while watching anime a little more often instead of lying there like a lump in my bed. If I did curls every time I'm watching cartoons, I would have the most beefy arms. You ever seen, like, a character who they go through a training montage and there's this, like, they're too strong, they don't know their own strength, and they, like, break. They break doorknobs and things like that. The big, like, stick, yeah, Trogdor reference. Yeah, arms like that. This is Ike, um, uh, He's kind of an old guy, and I'm making a tea table! Oh, I don't think I have the recipe for that yet. I'll take that. Thank you. He's kind of this old guy, and he, he kind of reminds me of those preppers with all the camping equipment and the camo and the way his house is put together. So, 
for his yard, I gave him a sort of a, like, survival bunker-esque thing. Not exactly, but, like, you know, there's all these DIYs out here. There's some lunch. There's some tools. He's got a bunch of recyclables that he's, like, repurposing into other things. He's got another crafting table. And I put up some- I didn't- I was tempted to do the barbed wire, but I didn't want to make him quite that unfriendly, but I did put up some spiked fencing. Sort of a semi-polite way of saying, please don't invade my space. He's also got a well, he's- and a solar panel, he's completely off the grid, so to speak. And here is my favorite best boy. You might be able to tell from how much effort I put into his- Hey, buddy! So yeah, this is Zucker. And he calls me guacamole. Such stuff are you gonna tell me all about it. See, look, he's also great. He hasn't guilt trip me when I'm gone. He just asked, did you have a good time? Did you eat lots of snacks? I added these little stepping stones behind it. He's got a bit of a Japanese vibe going. He's also got over here some trash that he really needs to take out. He's a little lazy. Okay, this area is, um... Hmm. How do I talk about this area. Around when I started playing Animal Crossing, I had to end a friendship with somebody. They- I, I don't want to get too into it or name specifics or anything. I don't want to cause any drama, but they turned out to not be very nice. And before that, for a little bit, they'd had a spot on the island. And so... I got rid of them, and I put this here as sort of a way to help me grieve the whole situation, because it was very difficult. And this is sort of something I did to help myself heal, and it really was helpful for a long time, although I feel like it might have overstayed its welcome. It might be time to put something else here, at least change the gravestone to a bench, make this a nice little sitting area. But yeah, I really did this up. I really put some time into it, and it doubles as, like a gold flower farming area, because I've got all these black roses. The whole basic concept behind my town, although you can tell I haven't completely stuck to it, is it's got a beach boardwalk town vibe. You got the wood planks for the main roads, and you got my beach house up there. So I've got over here, naturally, what you always find near the pier is some carnival stuff. What up, buddy? The waves, the waves are- oh, ready, the pool noodles! <laughs> I love him. Test the raisins. Gulliver! Gulliver! Thank you. Don't make me go back to space, it's cold and dark- What? Not in sp- Um... Okay. In an earlier game, he rode around in a UF- He what? Wait, what do you- When did- When was Gulliver in a UFO? What are you talking about? I don't remember- hold on, hold on, I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up now. In Wild World, you can shoot down the UFO with a sling- How did I never know about this? Or did I just forget? I played a lot of Wild World. I don't- I don't recall this at all. Also, that's pretty violent, is literally shooting someone's ship down. And I did play Wild World. I played Wild World quite a bit. I've, I've been playing since, like, I, I started New Leaf. I've been playing since the original Animal Crossing. I've still got it around here, in fact, somewhere. Like, um... I'd like to get my Wii hooked up and play some Wii games eventually, and it is backwards compatible with the GameCube, so... It might be fun to, like, pull up the original Animal Crossing and play some of that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. It's really weird to think about how old the GameCube is now. Like, it's older than some of the people who might be watching this video, and looking back, it's funny that history says it didn't sell very well, because I remember when the GameCube first came out, everybody wanted one, and it was the big hype thing, but history has said that it is, like, the worst-selling Nintendo console, or second to the Wii U, I can't remember which. It's just, it's weird how things don't seem that way at the time. And this is Leopold, who I hated at first, but has grown on me. Um, glad to see you're still here on Soul Asylum. Hyped to see what you do next. His house looks like a school room. A school room. Um, 
And so I decorated, this is his house up here, I decorated the area around his house to look like a school. This is um, my little outdoor coffee shop because I'm a dork who needed to put a coffee shop in town. This is the little handoff area and I've got a little barista of sorts chilling over here and a coffee grinder. And I guess we serve spaghetti carbonara and also tea. Here's a tea set. And I've got this little, oh, uh, this is, I should turn this off. It's cold enough. But, um, maybe I should get a space heater here for the winter. And I did see one at the store. Up here, we've got most of the weeds and a little hot spring. Those weeds look so pretty with the bamboo garden, though. You know, I'm not too fussed about being five star right now. I'll probably come pick those up later, but for now, I'm just gonna let the weeds chill back there, because those are really pretty. I do like how those look in the snow. Here is, um, a lot more flowers, and- ooh, another lily of the valley. So maybe, maybe I don't have to have all the weeds picked up. This is my musical garden. As you can see, it's also where I keep all the gold roses. I'm hoping to eventually- I can sell these. I'm hoping to eventually have this completely filled up with gold roses. The entire- all of the rows of, like, the music sheet. If you look at the map of the town, you can really see the music notes and everything up there in the corner. I just think that's really cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man, I forgot. I taught Rocket! I have Rocket in this town and I taught Rocket to say Hyperforce Go because they look like a Sentai monkey, right? And I forgot that catchphrases could spread. <laughs> I think I'll get this space heater for the cafe, because there's a fan up there. It makes more sense to do that. Hey, Rocket. Well, this school would make a perfect gift. Who's got a birthday coming up? Um, okay. Let me get a shovel. I know I can build shovels, but I'm lazy. We yeah, also a little detail outside the clothing store. They are selling face masks, although I already said nothing bad happens in this town, so I'm not sure why. Um, and I also put that suit out there, so it's like you can buy a face mask and you can buy a suit shirt for Zoom meetings. I should probably put on some tights. I look- I, I feel cold just looking at her. Oh, there's no blue... Hmm. The- the blue... Uggs just don't go with what I've already got. Oh no, no, they'll, they'll match the- there, they can match my hair and the fox. That, that'll work. It's not perfect, but maybe if I tie the- and tie in some of the black from the skirt. Okay. There we go. Yep. That looks cute. Over here is my flower breeding garden. Use- I love this effect. I figured this out while I was building it. This effect of the sort of stepping stones in different colors. This is my flower breeding garden. It's got... I don't really need this part anymore because I've reached phase two. I'm trying to get blue roses. I could probably do something different with this. I'll have to figure out what. Maybe I could move my black roses up here and start watering them. It seems like I've got almost enough. I've got some black roses over here too. I've got, um... The first two lilies of the valley I got over here, this little birdhouse area, and just this nice garden vibe to it. I really like this spot. I've got this beautiful, massive rose garden where I just put any roses that don't qualify. And it's just built into that. I'm running out of places to put things. Oh yeah, I've also got this nice little entrance to... Town Square. I really love decorated manholes. That's something- I wish that America would take after Japan in decorating manholes. I heard they just got some new Pokemon decorated manholes in one town, and that's just the coolest thing. <gasps> Ooh. I, I've never seen this- I've never seen the Aurora Borealis in the game before. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like- Oh! I haven't shown you guys the campsite. I knew I was forgetting something. Let me show you guys the campsite. It's very simple, but this is my little campsite. I've got, um, 
sharing a bonfire on the beach. I don't know if this is a big thing in other beach towns, but I used to live in Oregon, and Oregon, we had this big thing for building bonfires on the beach at night. So I've got that sort of replicated here. There's the campsite, and of course it's got another little free library. I've got a pizza oven, a trash receptacle, a porta potty, all the good stuff. And this is a lovely place to stop and look at. Wow. It is too cold for. The space heater should be closer to the middle, though, so. Let's put this right here. Oh, the blender's still going. That's what that sound is. I turn that off. There we go. This is... I probably could use another one to put here, but at least right now we have one nicely heated space. Let me show you guys some of my outfits. This is the give up on life. It's a reference to um, Adventure Time when Jake refers to sweatpants as give up on life pants and goes on this rant about how people should respect themselves when they leave the house by not wearing sweatpants. And I sort of agree, but sometimes I just don't respect myself. <laughs> this one is... Uh, this is um, Chase from Rescue Bots. The hoodie, again, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head the names of the lovely designers who made these. Um, the, the name of it, Dumb Baby Show, is a reference to my friend Elastic Poodle um, got very into Rescue Bots, but first I had to convince them to watch it, and their initial reaction was like, oh, I don't know, that sounds like, th that's like the show for little kids, and I've never let them live that down because they got so invested in it afterwards, so when they came over, I made this outfit and I labeled it Dumb Baby Show <laughs> just to get on their nerves. I wish it did. I wish it kept the names attached, because I feel so bad about not sharing the names of the lovely people who made these. Um, this match makeup is my Sentai outfit, but I forget if I ever got a pink helmet, but I didn't have one at the time I made this, so it looks like this. It's a mystery. I just made a sleuth outfit for no apparent reason. There's no inside joke here. It just seemed like a fun use of the slot. Barista outfits. I, I, I modeled it after a Starbucks outfit. Do you still have in this trying to- Yeah, I used to have an egg outfit. Um, I- Did I get rid of it? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, I did get rid of Kenna in this, like, in this trying time. Although, I didn't call it in this trying time. I called it eggs quarantine. And there's actually- There is a meme- one time Elastic Poodle came over to my island and I put up a fence at the front of the island and told them that they wouldn't get in unless they solved the riddle. And I put on that outfit and I asked them, what am I? And they responded with eggs quarantine because they were aware of the joke. But I couldn't remove the fence afterwards. I didn't realize that you couldn't, like, move things when you had a visitor. This was very early in me playing the game. And... So I ended up eating crow, just standing there, not not realizing they could just go into Dodo Airlines and then I could fix it. I ended up eating crow and going, uh, I can fix this, and just standing there awkwardly. And I took screenshots of the whole exchange, posted them on Tumblr, and it be it went a little viral. It got over a hundred thousand retweets and likes, so it's it's a little well known. There's probably people who are aware of that, who are not aware of who I am. And I just think that's really funny. And of course, I got like 50 people saying they could have just gone back into the- into Dodo Airlines, and I just responded with, they could have what? And it was a whole thing. It was this whole thing that went kind of viral on Tumblr. And that was very fun. Wait, there's one more thing. The last thing I wanted to show off I've got a bunch of little beach details back here. I've got this viewfinder. I've got the lighthouse. I just think that looks so cool at night. And then if you walk this way, I've got my little secret beach. 
covered in... I did not make any of these. I found these all online. Covered in these little doodles. Anti-sea bass zone. <laughs> the S that everyone would put on their notebooks. Just just all these little things. Guess I didn't show this off either. I got this little playground here. I'd like to do more with this. Right now it's just kind of a kind of a bit of a dumpy playground. It just it exists. Thank you.